Oh yeah, I've been chatting to chatting with a lot of people here, and I mean it's, it's it's a fantastic morning. The sun is out; it's in the upper 70s right now. I mean, take a look. You can see uh, just how picturesque it is. There are a number of boats that are still in the water right there, and these are kind of spaced out. And these will most likely stay in this area for the duration of the storm. You mentioned the ferry service; ferries have been coming and going, but there are some diversions in place already. Still, we chatted with a couple this morning going over to Martha's vineyard for the day. We spotted a short line forming just about an hour ago. Now this is the steamship authorities Woods Hole terminal and we also noticed some tour buses dropping off and picking up some passengers. Mark Cody drove in from Providence, Rhode Island this morning and he's taking a trip out to the vineyard. It's his first time on the island. I've been in the area about 15 years and haven't ever been so I figured it'd be a nice day to go out before the storm. Before the storm. So you know the storm is coming. We do know the storm is coming. Did you maybe think to rethink your plans? Were you apprehensive? No, it only seems like it's going to hit tomorrow afternoon. So we're coming back this afternoon. So I don't. I'm hoping there's no problems. Now, even though Henri is tracking more westward, like Allison has been saying, the National Weather Service is also warning of the potential for damaging winds and coastal flooding here on the Cape. People here are taking no chances throughout the day here. We've been noticing right on this dock alone that uh, many people are taking their boats out of the water just as a precaution. Working for you live here in Falmouth, Don Shipman, 22 News.